Broadway stacks the deck with slick submissions. I'm Shayna, the Queen of Spades, Baszler, and uh, I like to do sleight of hand card magic. And the, the spade is the, the death card, so I'm the queen of spades. Training with Josh Barnett has taught me that fighting is fun. You can, uh, I can be a rock star and be a fighter at the same time, you know? Um, in the cage, we're gonna be trying to beat the snot out of each other. It's not gonna matter, I'm gonna try to cave her face in. And my prediction is, uh, I'm gonna win by TKO because I'm gonna handcuff her in the cage and run her through with my guitar. I think the fight with Shayna Baszler is going to be a lot of fun. She's really fun to hang out with. Uh, we get along really well, so it just makes it that much more fun to get in there knowing that afterwards you're still gonna be friends and hang out and ha have a good time. I really think the five minute rounds um, makes for exciting fights. It makes for unpredictability. It, you know, you have to have better cardio. You have to have, um, you know, just better training all around. You can't get away with, you know, just getting through three minutes and then being exhausted. That extra two minutes makes a big difference in the fight. So I think that it's, you know, I could knock her out, she could knock me out, and same with submissions. It could go either way. Women bantamweight action in the cage. This Strike Force Challenger's attraction is scheduled for three five minute rounds. Our referee in charge, Anthony Hamlet. Okay, corners out. Let's go, corners. Get the flag. Let's go. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's fight. Pat, how long do you think before Baszler uh, tries to uh, take Kaufman down, knowing her pedigree as a striker? Well, I think Baszler's going to try something crazy. Uh, she'll, she'll stand up with her for a little while, but I, I don't think it'll take long to roll for a leg lock or something because uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of ladies out there that want to bang with Kaufman. I like the high guard that Baszler has right now. Nice uppercut on the inside by Baszler. Baszler showing very good head movement. Uh, might want to set her kicks up a little bit more and throw the hands before the kick comes uh, so she doesn't get caught by a Kaufman punch. Baszler looking to secure the tie. Plum had the collar tie, and this one does go to the canvas. I was going to say, Baszler looks in absolutely phenomenal shape. Probably the best shape I have ever seen her in, and she has Kaufman now in a position that Kaufman's not used to being in. Sure, we saw Misha Tate take Kaufman down in her last fight, but Baszler's credentials as a submission artist are definitely something to reckon with. Wide base here by Baszler. One thing Baszler did say is that the long layoff after the Cyborg fight was to her advantage. So by the way, that's not a mistake. The, the time clock counting down from five minutes. Feature attractions in Strike Force female fights will be contested. Under five minute rounds as we are now in a north-south position here. Shayna Baszler looking for a submission early. Yeah, she's trying to lock up the choke right now. She passed Kaufman's guard because Kaufman worked on trying to get up. She's choking her with the knee and the arm on the opposite side. Her knee's blocking one carotid artery and her arm's blocking the other. That's a tight choke. She keeps it as she gets rolled and it's still tight. You can see it's causing Kaufman some problems. Very unorthodox submission stylist trained by one of the best to catch wrestling in Josh Barnett and Shayna Baszler always looks to entertain the crowd pulling those proverbial submission rabbits out of her hat but Sarah Kaufman survives and now finds herself pinning Baszler up against the fence. Well, when you bring up the five-minute round more, I think it's really important for the grappler to have the extra two minutes, so it could end up helping Baszler quite a bit. Although, on Kaufman's side, her endurance has always been something, so we'll see how that plays out. Working from Baszler's half guard, Kaufman now peppering her with those short left hands. And this is the risky run. You know, on Baszler's side, she tried a submission, kept the submission on instead of basing out when she got rolled. And now she's on bottom taking abuse and losing points. That's something that, you know, a lot of people that are coaches in the sport really frown upon with their with their athletes. And another advantage Baszler, or excuse me, Kaufman is enjoying right now. They're right in front of her coach, Adam Zujek. Okay, second warning action. Kaufman's very relaxed here in the closed guard of Baszler. 
to Baszler trying to sneak up using the rubber guard. Working the rubber guard here. Baszler now striking from the bottom. Bachman trying to wing block, but Baszler very comfortable. And I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that stand-up, Pat. And Steven, we had her working the rubber guard. Baszler was working, yeah. She was working for something, and, and uh, should have let it go a little longer. Because I wanted to see if Sarah postured up, if she'd get that shin put in front of her throat. Minute and a half remaining in the opening round. Kaufman coming straight ahead now. Baszler doing a good job working the wizard, closing the quarters and just keeping Kaufman pinned along the fence now. So really, Baszler following a pretty smart game plan early on in this fight. Absolutely, and she's doing a great job of moving her head and throwing counter punches, which is, is giving Kaufman some problems. Uh, she's obviously worked a lot on her striking, and I think fighting somebody her own size definitely helps. Final 60 seconds. We are scheduled for three five-minute rounds in this female 135-pound bout. What would you like to see Kaufman do more of here, Stephen? Well, Kaufman has been shut down moving forward, so that last exchange, she hung back, and then Baszler got the clinch again. She's got to get distance and uncork that right hand and catch Baszler on the chin. Baszler looking to drop a level, now back up as they continue to neck grapple here. Kaufman trying to work some small knees inside, less than 30 seconds remaining in the opening round. You can see Baszler working. Her judo influence is definitely Stop, coming out with break. the leg reaps and, and trying to reach over the back and, and hit those throws. Final 10 seconds of the opening round, and if you're in Shayna Baszler's camp, you have to be pretty happy with what you've seen thus far in the opening five minutes. Two. The smile's gone off Kaufman's face. I think she understands she's in a fight now and, and uh, needs to get to work. I was wondering when Kaufman was going to start kicking because I believe that'll be the key for her setting up her punch combinations. Right now, she's strictly punching, and Baszler has all the answers for that. Baszler very content to stay in the pocket with Sarah Kaufman. Kaufman now has Baszler pinned against the fence. Baszler doing a good job of controlling Kaufman's arms, avoiding her lethal weapons thus far. Keep working. You can see her keep putting that foot in there and reaping the leg. She'll, she'll hook, hook the back and pull with it. Then she'll push on the front of it. She's keeping her off balance. See what she's doing with it. It's very tricky judo stuff. Unless you've done judo and had somebody launch you onto your head doing that stuff, you don't understand how tricky it is. It almost appears like Baszler may be setting up a, an Uchimata throw, a judo throw, but uh, really working the wizard now, and of course that's something she would have uh, picked up from Josh Barnett as well. Yeah, Josh is a very tricky fighter, very skilled. Oh, so grab a oh, right catches hand. her with the right hand, finally gets Baszler's attention. Doesn't follow up, however, and you can see discoloring underneath both of Kaufman's eyes. First solid right hand landed by Kaufman, and there's, there's another hand right by Kaufman. Kaufman now beginning to find her range here on Shayna Baszler. Baszler's hands dropping momentarily. I think that that shook up Baszler because Baszler was very relaxed, very calm for this first round and a half. And now she may be thinking, uh, maybe I don't want to be standing up with her. And Kaufman comes straight ahead again. Baszler able to duck out and move away from the cage. A very smart move. There's an overhand right, but didn't have the distance. And really, I mean, it doesn't take rocket science here. If Baszler is going to be successful, she'll want to take this to the ground like she did in the first round. And she does not want to let Kaufman find her range, find her rhythm. Right, no, absolutely, Morrow. And, and Kaufman's got to understand right now, she's letting Baszler rest. Baszler's a grappler. She's going to get extremely tired fast if she's in a brawl. And Kaufman needs to push the pace. Catches her again with an overhand right. And there's a left and a right. And now Baszler Maybe showing more courage than smarts here, wanting to get into a, a firefight with Kaufman, Stephen. One thing that we've seen from Kaufman is she's strictly a headhunter. I want to see the left hook to the body, because that will take a lot of the juice out of Shayna Baszler. Beautiful combos by Kaufman. And Kaufman now beginning to unload on Baszler, and Baszler 
absorbing every blow, not even beginning to motion that she wants to take this to the ground. So Kaufman beginning to get into the swing of things here in round two. I thought round one belonged to Shayna Baszler. How did you score the opening round, Stephen? And the firefight continues here. Yeah, Shayna Baszler definitely won that first round. She controlled position more. She almost had the submission attempt, and she landed some good shots standing. There's a kick, low leg kick by Kaufman. Kaufman should go more to the low kick. That will set up the combinations to the head because right now, Shayna only has to contend with head punches. I don't fully understand if Kaufman's worried about Baszler attempting to take down and get her down. Is that why she's holding back a little bit? But Again. she needs to keep the pressure on. And another combination upstairs. Baszler up against the fence, just waiting for Kaufman to strike. She comes back with a left of her own. But if I were Baszler, I'd like to circle away. And it looks like that kick may have hurt her lead leg. I think that low kick definitely hurt, Marv. Good, uh, good observation. That low kick is her key to setting up punch combinations because if she delivers more of those, Shayna will be forced to drop her hands to catch it. Less than a minute remaining in round two. A round that thus far has belonged to Sarah Kaufman beginning to pick apart Shayna Baszler along the fence. And I really, I'm quite surprised here, Pat, that Baszler would elect to, to stand up here with Kaufman. Why doesn't she circle away and try to take it to the ground as she was successful in doing so in the opening round? I quite honestly, maybe she's thinking that she's doing fine standing up and winning and landing shots. You never know. You never know what somebody's dazed, what they're thinking. She may be hurt. Uh, but uh, I, if I'm in her corner, I'm definitely telling her to get a takedown. And, Stephen, you can tell that Kaufman has respect for Baszler because, like you say, she's picking her apart slowly, not coming in as we've seen her do in the past. So definitely there is mutual respect in this 135-pound bout. Less than five seconds now remaining. Hoffman's round two, definitely. And she closes in a flurry. Are oh, you ready? You ready? Let's fight. Are we in agreement that it's one round apiece heading into the third and final round? That's, that's absolutely correct. We heard from Kaufman's corner and just above us a very animated Josh Barnett shouting out instructions to Shayna Baszler, imploring her to come over the top of Kaufman strikes with elbows. So it'll gonna be interesting. Finally, she drops down, goes for the single leg, and some takedown defense being exhibited here by the very strong Sarah Kaufman. She's here, she, here she's working for a half guard sweep series. She's trapping the arm on the top side and hooking inside the leg on the bottom, and she's gonna try and scoot her hips underneath more and roll her through. If that doesn't work, then she'll slide down to the single leg and come out the back door a lot of times. It's a, a very good technique to use to get out from underneath somebody. Kaufman delivering a series of right hands to the head of Shayna Baszler. Set the warning action. Kaufman's gotta posture up a little bit, get some distance. And now into the close guard of Baszler. Just over a minute gone in the third and final round. This is changing the angle, gonna go for a sweep or an arm bar. Go, catch that glove, catch that There it is, she tried to, tried to off-balance her, now she's going for the leg lock. Guard pass. Nice job by Kaufman. Passes guard, now has her back. Baszler in the turtle position. Kaufman lets her get back up to her feet. A minute and a half gone now, third and final round, anybody's fight. The problem for Baszler is she couldn't capitalize or get anything going from the bottom there. And she gave up uh, the ground again as she's standing, taking punches from Kaufman. And I think that last series on the ground showed that Kaufman was physically strong. And Kaufman caught her with a one-two combination. Baszler with the tie plumb along the fence. No room, however. She needs to circle away, transitions into the wizard. One thing that I'm impressed with of Kaufman is that she's not afraid of the clinch and she doesn't panic once she gets into the clinch. There's a takedown by Kaufman. Nice job, Bobby Lock. Continues to drill her with those right hands. And back now, oh, full mouth. Almost now back up on her feet. So Kaufman content with keeping this in the stand up department. And she is seemingly gaining more and more confidence as this fight unfolds. Definitely showing that she can grapple, without a doubt. Great defensive grappling, not shying away from the clinch or the ground game at all. Hands down, Shayna. Throw the elbow. Throw the elbow. 
You can hear Josh Barnett mention the elbows. There was a half-hearted attempt at an elbow. We mentioned between rounds, Barnett asking Baszler to come over top of Kaufman strikes with those elbows, but it's almost like she's doing it half-heartedly, like she's not fully confident. Well, she's not wanting to walk in there anymore. Those hard right hands, I can tell you, and that's holding her back a little bit. Uh, Kaufman definitely can pick it up now. You can see Baszler is fatigued. Who is winning this round thus far, Stephen? Kaufman's winning the round, dictating more of the damage. Shayna hasn't been close to putting anything real together so far in this round. Kaufman comes forward again. Baszler has spent the majority of her time in this round against the fence. And now she again wants to engage, and Kaufman is the one who lands the scoring blows. Very surprised by the strategy employed here by Shayna Baszler, especially when you take into consideration that all 11 of her wins have been via submission. Now's not the time to be a hero. Well, and definitely you don't want to fight with your back against the cage because you can't go anywhere. And Kaufman uncorks another couple right hands. Baszler comes back with a couple of her own. A very patient, very calm, cool, collected Kaufman firing off in spurts, showing the maturity of a veteran fighter beginning to unload on Baszler, watching the body. Beautiful floor. She is absolutely a rock and soccer robot. Pummel in, Shayna. Final 40 seconds. Second warning. Let's go, Steve Easy. They wanted to roll for a leg lock. I'm pretty sure. Baszler's got the wizard momentarily. We saw Kaufman take her down from there. There's a rolling leg lock. You can tell him, telling her, if you're gonna do it, do it. And Kaufman stuffs it. Kaufman just drops her weight down and says, "Not today." Final 20 seconds. Look at Josh Barnett, very animated in the corner. We are into seconds. the final 10 seconds, and it seemingly looks like Sarah Kaufman is on her way to remaining unbeaten at a perfect 10 and 0. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Terry Bulky scores the bout 29 to 28. Judges Vern Beach and Randy Corley both score the bout 30 to 27. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated, Sarah Kaufman. Sarah, second time going the distance. What's going on? Shayna's a really, really tough opponent. Uh, total respect for her. She's an awesome girl, so if we can all give Shayna in her corner around a hand. You know, it was an awesome fight. Couldn't be a good fight without a good opponent. So that was a big factor in this fight. Um, you know, my coach, Adam Zujak, Greg Jackson, was helping me out. All my teammates, uh, Dethrone, I Fight, um, Carnal Damage, everyone who helped me get here, I owe it to them. How deep was that north-south choke in the first round? Well, it was an awkward choke for sure. I mean, her knee was kind of in the side of my throat, so, you know, it's not a position you're in every day, so definitely had to kind of think of a good option of getting out of there without, you know, getting in a bad position at the same time. You knew that she was gonna be dangerous on the ground, but did you gain confidence in the second round? I definitely think so. I think the longer the fight goes on, the easier it is for me to kind of get a rhythm, feel how they're doing, and what their combos tend to be, and then, uh, from there, once you start getting hit, your game plan changes a little bit, too. Such a great performance against a great fighter. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you watch Showtime again. Okay, let's hear it for her, Sarah Kaufman. It's time for a catchweight clash as seasoned veteran George